A letter to Congress. Sleep, my child, for when you are done with your elitist debates and you have opened your eyes, you will realize what you have participated in. You will see the photos of the dead and see how you explain away your consciousness. Like the son of a family who can't stop the spreading of cancer within and helplessly settles for personal victories and accomplishments. Few in this country question at all. Television dictates what you think and feel. Radio waves refract off your brain. Sleep, my child, for there is not much else you can do. Try not to open your eyes for your own good. Sleep well into the night, filled with painted stars and electronic lights. Expand, increase, grow, merge, partner up, sell more, make more, spend more, have more, hoard more, eat more, drink more, live more. Live less, for you can only eat, sleep, drink, and shit so many times a day, and the sun will shine at your face either way. Unless you're locked up in the office, serving some client, boss, or God in your own willing, indentured servitude. Orange Light The orange light above proclaims itself a god in time. The spear turns into dust as walls caress the arms of day. And you would never ever go away when you always want to see the light gray. Excuse me? Excuse you. Got tombs only for you? White Dodge van equipment controlling too many minds. Diffuse me. Diffuse you. Your tinted glasses amuse you. The orange light that follows me runs shortly after you. The orange light above, the gleaming souls in time, Isis eyeing the porch, screening your thoughts all now, and you can never ever go away, when you always want to see the light, gray. What's my problem? Here's my problem. My problem is that I'm too visual to be blind, too audiological to be deaf, too ideological to be in peace, too compassionate to be in war, too crazy to be sane, too sane to be lazy, too emotional to be you. If I could only stop my head from going into constant infection, then maybe I could swim back to my own version of consistent sanity, angelic demons, liquid dreams, transparent mountains of our own reality, burning oceans, melting faces, melting faces, why? Overload. The military wants advanced weaponry, men get erected on faster computers, software dealers want windows, and hand wash car washes win the race. The endless strive for better has caused whole industries of misconception, where the truth is just a market factor, factoring in billions spent on lies. Using our minds we are striving not for a better way of living but for luxury, yet luxury comes with peace of mind, not the rattling of one under duress. Industries of misconception, industries of blind perception, industrialized overload, industrialized overload. Freezing. We are freezing, standing in front of our electric heaters, nuking our food. We are tired of your transparent, who pays the bills, sets the ways foreign policy. We are tired of sending our troops to foreign soils, to die not knowing why, and whose interests they were sacrificed for. We are ashamed to see the way that you take care of your people, by cutting social services and aid to those most in need. How could the richest nation in the world have starving children? Here's the fucking point, people. Nations and their governments should provide, protect, and serve its citizens, not the interests of the multinational corporations and their financial bosses. And then maybe, just maybe, can we allow the planet a chance to avoid self-destruction.
Nations come together as one, forming candles in the sun. The candle burned deep inside his head, his wax mind finally dead. His wax mind they all had learned, had secrets of those that burned, in the valleys with a gun, they still didn't reach the sun. Nations come together as one, sending killers on the run, controlling the crowd they take the killer's place bold and proud. Even if I wasn't dead, I'd see the dying straight ahead, believing your own destiny, life is not, you seem to be. Nations come together as one, chase the children onto the desert, let them frizzle away and fry, although in their mother's eyes we can say or do anything, as long as we're allowed to think. Let's make an example of them all, take this institution down to a fall. who packed her dress for her paid personality and a stage to caress. A visualist who envisions her experiences before high noon on her drapes. A passionate poison dealer, a healer of menstrual restraints. A lava-eating Polynesian dancer with her summer dress, all posing nude for the cover of our desires. Two hours of joy within isolation, a losing of the self, a writing of a day, pronouncing a way. Dirty truths and the remote viewers of unjust wars, fighting Walden and a score of more naturalists. Nil. If today I die and cannot deny the life that I live, for what I say now will befit myself in time. No time to die nor live, no structures of a pyramid, nor trained horses to arise surmise my position. My words define me as a surgically proficient baker, a baker who now lies still. For assuming these were my last words, I would say absolutely nil. I'm encountering a strange revival, that of the mind, the thinking, unobsessed, scrutinizing mechanism of our human experience. Unlike the staggering, looped, forced contemplations of the ego-based mind of troubles and to-dos, I am re-encountering the thriving pinnacle of the expansive, existential thought process. It is with this mind that man was able to contest the spoon-fed theories of relic-left religions that hypothesized on man's role in this cosmic calamity. Nothing left to chance, chance inclusive. To learn how and when to let go is how one can hold on to reality. Most commotions in the oceans of human dilemma are caused by the non-acceptance of beautiful reality. For by the lack of acceptance, one is eluded to an imaginary existence in lieu of the actual. Reality can only be beautiful, for true beauty can only be real, natural, and because universal forces, mostly unbeknown to man, deemed it so. Reality is the only thing that exists. 
And since what cannot exist cannot be beautiful, reality is by definition beautiful. <laughs>